Does your dog have hip dysplasia or hip issues? Maybe it's a dog you know. Do you want to know the best exercise to help with that? To strengthen the muscles and help that joint stay in place? I'm Dr. Lori McCauley from Optimum Pet Vitality. I'm going to show you multiple ways how to do it. Let's go. Side steps is such an important exercise. It helps stabilize the hips. It holds that joint together so we have less action, less laxity, and less inflammation and pain associated with hip dysplasia or other hip issues. So how do we do it? Well, if we have a small dog, I don't want you leaning over because you're going to hurt your back. So if you take a leash and wrap it around their belly, if they're a boy, make sure you're not touching their private parts. Can you turn around, Ted? You're going to have one foot in front of him and one foot underneath him. Your hands do not pull up. They are there so that it controls him so he can't spin out. And then you're going to take slow, small steps. Take a side step, side step, side step. So that they step out. Side step, good boy. As soon as you get done going in one direction, you're going to go in the other direction. Take a step back. Okay. Ready? Side step. Good boy. Side step. Good boy. When I'm working with a big dog, it's even easier. I can put both my feet between his front and rear feet, have one hand on his collar to make sure his head doesn't spin out to the side, and hold my other hand to the side of him by his hip, but not touching him. This way, if he were to try to spin out to get away from me, I could very gently tap him and say, hey, stay here. I don't want to have my hand pulling him in, otherwise my legs are pushing him out, my hand's pulling him in, and it's just very confusing. You want to make sure your back is straight up and down, and then we're going to take small steps, about four inches, first leading with the left and then the right. We don't want to lead with only one leg, otherwise it turns our body and we can hurt our lower back. So what does it look like? Ready, Ollie? Side step, baby. Side step, boy, boy. Side step, good boy. Now, Ollie's almost 12, so you can do this with almost any age dog. Let's turn around. Everything that we do with one direction, we're going to do to the other side. Ready? Between his front and rear feet. Let's go. Side step. Side step. Good boy. In the beginning, when they learn this, they're going to be angle free. They're going to be stepping to their foot and then out. To their foot and then out. As they get better at it, they'll actually be able to cross over, and then you know you're really strengthening those muscles. If you enjoy this content, be sure to click on OptimumPetVitality.com and sign up for our Learn and Go newsletter. Go to the homepage, scroll to the bottom, and sign up. We'll send you lots of great information.